Grady Mulligan has held no previous elected offices. Repeatedly, over and over again, the two biggest issues we hear from the candidates is uh, crime and public safety downtown and also economic development. Right. Let's start with crime. What, what is your scheme? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to see the, uh, the city manager hire someone who is going to go after these grants that the president is talking about. The president's talking about bringing 100,000 police officers back to the streets throughout the country. And he's talking about budgeting $3.65 billion. If we're going to, to uh, be involved with cities like New York, Miami, L.A., Philadelphia, we need to have somebody in place who's ready to go after those grants, someone who has experience in research and developing these, these kinds of grants. Also economic development downtown? El economic development. I would like to see uh, uh, downtown Lowell become a professional district, uh, as well as having uh, shops. If we're going to have a tourist type of, of uh, downtown area, I think we need to try and get the, the um, shops to have um, novelty places uh, to uh, bring in the tourists uh, to, to shop downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also would like to see professional people, doctors and lawyers, downtown Lowell, so that the elderly, it would make it a lot easier for them to go to their doctors instead of having to take two or three buses uh, to get to where they have to be. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Laurie Machado has held no previous elected offices. You pride yourself as being able to uh, crunch numbers, uh, being able to handle civic budgets. Yes, I have a degree in accounting, and I've worked in the city auditor's office in Lowell, and I'm an assistant to the treasurer collector in the town of Bill Ricker, and I've also worked as an assistant town accountant. And I feel as though that experience with, with budget and number crunching will help me when I'm elected to the city council. Uh, another thing that you, I heard you propose a couple of months ago was that you'd like to see some kind of way that the city council is always informed about how grant money is spent and whether it's being spent. That's right. What I would like to propose is what I would call a 1% rule. And if more than 1% of a grant is turned back to an awarding agency, I would like to see a report come to the city council so that we can, we can find out what happened and why that wasn't spent so we're not using city dollars instead. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we talked briefly before the show about crime. You had an idea on how to beef up the police. Yes, I feel as though we should look at some of the hiring practices of, from the early retirements and see if we can redirect some of that personnel over to the police department and then get the policemen that are working behind the desk back onto the street. I think it's important that we do that. The city needs more police officers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much. Fred Doyle has held no previous elected offices. I hate to say that you're a one-issue candidate, but you seem pretty focused on getting rid of the city manager. Well, I think that that's the, the main cause of my campaign, is I've watched this guy, how he operates since he's come here, and he's this typical Boston politician, and, and I started watching him last July, and what's going on since last July is it's unbelievable, and that the people don't know what's going on. What issue started at all? Uh, the issue started on the Cook Management contract. He entered into a contract with Cook Management for $8,500 without informing the low city council or the auditor's office. The bill came in for $8,500 into the auditor's office, which I told the auditor he had no right to pay. At that time, the auditor told the city manager he wouldn't pay the bill. Uh, about two months later, a communication comes through the manager's office, and that's one of the reasons that this city manager has got a shred of him in his office now. There's a letter that was sent to the manager from Peter Cook Management telling him how to circumvent the law. I think something should be done, and I think the people should know about it. Quickly, why hasn't the council voted him out then, in your opinion? Because the council is swapping jobs for votes. If he has a key vote coming up, he'll go to Kathy Kelly, he'll take care of her at the water department. If he has a key job, he'll go to Bud Caulfield. He gets the votes by swapping jobs. Right. Like, no confidence right. vote, a job was swapped with, uh, with Jerry Durkin over in the Division of Planning and Development. It happened the day before the con confirmation vote. Oh. This guy here is a Boston politician. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Brian McMahon has held no previous elected offices. As a downtown businessman, economic development downtown must be important to you. Yes, it's very important to myself, but it's also important to the city of Lowell. Any economic uh, development we have in the city is very important, whether it be downtown or other parts of the city, but downtown is very important too. Any ideas in particular? I think we get a lot of uh, wide-based stuff that we're looking at right now. There are a couple different uh, options that people are looking at. I've talked to myself. So by the end of the week, you know, we uh, the next two weeks, we'll have a better idea of if some stuff can come into downtown. 
How about crime downtown? Crime is a is a, a problem. It's um, it's it's not the elderly doesn't don't like to uh, come downtown. They're afraid that the purse snatches and stuff like that. If we can eliminate part of that, I think we can bring back downtown. We have to present a positive image about downtown, though. Any a particular reason why you're running this year? And well, I think this I think this year. Um, I've always wanted to do it, and I'm 33 years old, and this is the year, I think, to do it. And I think Lowell needs a little sense of direction, you know, from a business person, too, and I think I can give that direction. Great. Right, thanks, thanks for joining us Thank tonight. you very much.